Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Excel Basics in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today I'm going to be talking about Excel 2016, the desktop version of Excel, and Excel Online, which is the online version of Excel offered by Microsoft. And uh, if you've used Excel in the past, this should be pretty familiar. It's a very powerful program. It's part of the Excel 2016 suite, or the Office 365 subscription service, and I use it all the time. Um, here's a, here's a uh, spreadsheet example, actually, which is from the book, Excel Basics in 30 Minutes, and here is the same version in Excel Online. Now, um, just a couple basics about Excel 2016, or any recent version of Excel, really. It has the ribbon interface. So this ribbon up here has different features. You can click through to the different ribbons. There's home, insert. You can insert different things like charts or images, uh, equations, symbols, and kind of go through and see the very full feature set that's available to Excel 2016 users. Now, if you go to Excel Online, uh, this is available via live.com or just search for Excel online and it will pop up. Uh, usually, if you already have Excel 2016 installed on your computer, you may be prompted if you want to edit a, a, a file in Excel online or Excel 2016. You choose Excel online to see this particular view. Um, so a couple of things to note. First of all, the file for Excel online needs to be stored on OneDrive. And if you're using Excel 2016 or earlier versions, Excel 2013, Excel 2010, um, you know you don't need to use OneDrive. That's an option, but you don't need to do that. And by the way, the uh, Mac and the Windows version of Excel look basically the same. Um, the the feature set is 98% the same. Uh, so what you're seeing here, this is Mac. It's actually the same if you're looking at Windows, pretty much. Um, so getting back to Excel Online, it too has a ribbon interface. And when you're first looking at it, it looks pretty similar to what you see in Excel 2016. But uh, some interesting things start to crop up when you look a little bit closer. The home ribbon is pretty full featured. You have the formatting options, the cell options, um, kind of general formatting, like if you want to change this from let's say dollars to uh, like maybe another currency or something like that, like a euro or the Chinese yuan. You can do that pretty easily. Um, you can insert cells. Auto sum, that's a pretty basic thing. So let's say that I wanted to add, you know, these three things. Actually, let's make it these four. Auto sum, sum. It's not giving it to me for some reason, but um, this is the same as what you would find on Excel 2016. However, when you start to look at the other ribbons, things fall apart a bit. Certain features are just not there. Um, you know, this, this is Excel Online. It has the basic adding charts and inserting a picture or a shape. Uh, but the other things that were on Excel 2016, like equations and symbols, that's not available here. So some of the, like spark lines, you can't do that. Headers and footers, you can't really do that either. Word art. No, you can't do that on Excel Online, but you can do it on Excel 2016. So that's a pretty big difference in the features. And then if you go through, you'll see there are many more differences. So here's the data tab in Excel Online. Switching to Excel 2016, uh, there's, a, there's more features. Like subtotal, if you have a big, uh, let's say you have like hundreds of rows here and you want to kind of summarize them, Subtotal is a really powerful feature that you can use, but it's only available in Excel 2016 or uh, 2013, 2010, recent versions of Excel, maybe even going back like to the 1990s. This subtotal feature is like a central part of it. If you go to Excel online, it's just not there. So if I had hundreds of rows here and I wanted to summarize them using subtotal, can't do it, sorry. Uh, review, that's another area where, you know, accessibility checker and you can add comments and stuff like that. On Excel 2016, if you go to the review tab, you can do other things too. Um, spelling and thesaurus, that might be a, a big deal if you have some text into the cells here. You can also do things like protecting the worksheet and the, uh, and the workbook, Restic restricting permissions. 
So uh, overall, there are more features available in Excel 2016 than there are in Excel Online. But another big area relates to how, the, how you can fine tune the features. So let's go to uh, Insert and I'm gonna select some text here. And let's just make a simple pie chart out of this. So you go to, you select the text, uh, sorry, you select the cells. Then you go to, let's make a pie chart. Let's click on that. And here are the options, 2D pie and donut. Let's do 2D pie. Okay, so Excel Online created this nice looking basic 2D pie. Colors them automatically um, and then gives you a label for each one of the colors. Let's try the same thing in Excel 2016. So I'm gonna highlight the text here and then select the pie icon from the insert tab. Now you can see right away, there's some more options here. I can choose different, a few different versions, like the online version only had this and the donut. This one I can use, I can do a 3D pie if I want, uh, but let's just do a 2D pie, regular 2D pie, okay. The other thing that happens with this is it looks almost the same, but uh, here's the online version, Excel 2016. Looks the same, right? But go up to here where you can format it in different ways. They have like these preset options here. So all of a sudden I can do these sophisticated things like maybe mute it a little bit, um, black background. I like this particular effect. And there's lots of them, you know? I can't do that with Excel online. It's like, you know, what you see, what you see is what you get. Um, so it's really very, very limited. Like I can create a donut, that's about it. But with 2016, I can do all kinds of things. I can change the colors pretty easily. You know, that, that's just not possible with the online version of the tool. So that's, that's a pretty big difference between Excel, the desktop version for Mac or PC and Excel online. Not only are there more features in Excel 2016, but you can do more things with them. You can really fine tune what you're looking at. You can add shadings, 3D effects, all kinds of stuff just with this particular feature. And then there's more features that just do not exist in the, um, in the other version, in, in the online version, like subtotal and some of these what if analysis. You can't do that with the Excel online. Um, and then the, uh, the other big thing is that you're in Excel Online, you're restricted. You have to save the file to OneDrive, which is a bit of a drag. Yes, it makes collaboration easier, but that's with the big caveat if the other person has OneDrive installed and they know how to use it. And I found that with OneDrive, sometimes people have serious issues getting started with it, installing it, trying to get it working. And this is even if they have a Windows machine. It's supposed to work out of the box, but... Um, I've tried collaborating with some people and it just, it just, for whatever reason, it doesn't work. So OneDrive is a bit of a drawback there. But there's finally one really important difference between the two pieces of software that's worth mentioning. And this is where Excel Online is vastly superior and that is it's free. This particular tool, all you need to use it is a Microsoft account, which is free. And if you don't have one, just go to Microsoft.com, you can sign up. Or if you already have a Skype account or a Xbox Live account, you're good to go. Just use those credentials to log in to uh, live.com or to use Excel online and you can start using it right away. You have a OneDrive account with some space and you can save files, create new spreadsheets, and that's great. So it's free to use. And for basic stuff, you know, um, you know a basic chart, pretty easy to create. If you want to do some number crunching, basic stuff like, you know, if you wanted to calculate an average or auto sum, all those functions are available. And in fact, I think there's, you know, hundreds of functions, like all. Look at this. All of these functions are available to use on Excel online. So that's pretty powerful. That's a pretty powerful ability and it's free. So that's, that's good for a lot of people. By comparison, if you want to use Excel 2016, you either have to buy it as a part of uh, the Office 2016 suite, which I think goes for $200, and they're probably going to phase it out pretty soon. Or you have to subscribe to uh, Office 365, which I think the, the cheapest option is for maybe for a student or a single home user. It's like $80 a month, uh, give or take $20, and then it goes up from there. So, you know, you'll be paying some serious coin over a couple of years if you're using 
uh, Excel 2016. So for more information on how to get the most out of both of these tools, I've written this book, Excel Basics in 30 Minutes. It also covers um, you know, Google Sheets if you want to try another free version of a spreadsheet program. And uh, it's available from in30minutes.com. Uh, feel free to leave comments below this video if you have questions and, uh, or anything to say. And I hope to see you soon.